Hello friends and welcome to TLDR, where we recap the stuff that happens in Malaysia every week. This week, the coronavirus from China headed down south wreaking havoc among Malaysians who started panicking every time someone coughed. Excuse me. <coughs> but don't worry, the infected patients were transferred to the Sungai Bulo Hospital to be treated and quarantined. Yeah, that sounds a bit too close, but don't panic. Because in 2003, Sungai Bulo Hospital has actually been declared as Malaysia's Centre of Infectious Diseases, and this isn't their first rodeo. They've dealt with the SARS and H1N1 outbreaks like the pros that they are. In fact, we're so good that we're ahead of Singapore in terms of pandemic preparedness. See, we're not just better than you in food, okay, Singapore? Take that. <laughs> the Malaysian government has also temporarily stopped issuing visas to Chinese nationals from Wuhan. Most local airlines have also suspended flights to and from Wuhan. But actually, the rumors of the virus are way more viral than the virus itself. Some are claiming it's a bioweapon developed by China. Uh, excuse me, you think this is resident evil? Uh? And also some people are saying you should drink bleach to cure yourself. <laughs> Guys, don't just check your symptoms, check your sources too. The situation also became weirdly racist when people started blaming it on Chinese exotic food. Fear-mongering led the public to believe that every Chinese person is a carrier, even those who weren't even Chinese national. Do people actually believe that this virus chooses who they infect by their race? It's a new virus strain, but don't panic. Just remember, prevention is better than cure. It's time to stop! Listen to KKM, wash your hands, avoid eating raw meat, cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough, like this. <coughs> is this the correct way? The Consumers Association of Penang has called for a nationwide drinking and smoking ban during Thaipusam on the 8th of February. They justified this by saying that drinking isn't relevant to Thaipusam, so liquor shops should be closed before and after Thaipusam. Why only during Thaipusam? Accidents caused by drunk drivers happen all year round and not just by those who celebrate Thaipusam. So you've got to be fair, okay? So that's the gist of what happened this week. We've covered some of the stories in our articles. You can check out in the links below. Stay safe, everybody, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>